Record rainfall in Colorado Springs has prevented the city from making some much needed repairs to stormwater infrastructure. The city hopes that after more sunny afternoons like today, they'll be able to get moving on what they estimate to be millions in damages. Carity on News Channel 13's Tyler Cunnington joins us live from one of those drainage channels that has suffered damage due to those storms. With more, Tyler. Yeah, Heather, this channel behind me here is a prime example of what the city hasn't been able to attend to until now, as storms have prevented any real work from being done over the last month or so. The city is asking for patience and good weather in order to get these projects done. After the onslaught of rain these last two months, city crews are finally getting to the long list of stormwater repairs. What we've been doing is identifying those on a list of priority, and we're trying to get to them. This is a good example of one that we had on the list. He's talking about this large sunken wall within a drainage channel along the Sinton Trail. Back in late May, it started out as just some cracks in the base plate. I was surprised and I thought that it could, like a domino effect, it could lift all the succeeding plates downstream and uh, actually clog the bridge. The Chesham Circle Homeowners Association president became concerned once it eroded the dirt inside the hole. If there were another thunderstorm of equal force, then I fear that the uh, foundations of all the units that are on this side of the street would be in danger. The city says it understands the homeowners, but adds that Mother Nature got in the way of getting repairs started sooner. You can't work. Uh, in the channels when it's raining. You know, I mean, you just can't, can't have equipment down there. I mean, these channels um, are, you know, pretty violent, right? And they, they run pretty quick. And so um, what we've been doing is identifying those on a list of priority, and we're trying to get to them. This is a good example of one that we had on the list. The cost to clean this damage up will be a the cost to clean this damage up will be a few hundred thousand dollars, but the city estimates that number could be as much as 15 to 20 million citywide. But to no concern of the taxpayer, that's money that's already been paid to the city stormwater enterprise. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Tyler Cunnington, KRDO News Channel 13.